Welcome to our new series where we're going to take you through a full week of strength training for a cricket player. We're going to be doing this in my lovely little garage. First day, day one, is going to be a lower body session. So let's get into it. So we're in my garage. So all I've got basically is a barbell, um, plates and some dumbbells. Got a little pulley system as well, um, which I can sort of rig up to that and a bench. And that's all I've got. And that's all you need basically for this program. Um, as I said, this is day one of our week of strength training. So today's gonna be a lower body day. Um, so we're gonna go through some back squats and then some accessories to go with it. And this is gonna be for absolute strength. There's no sort of power cleans or anything like that in it at the minute. We're just gonna go on a week where we're focusing on pure strength. If you want more stuff like this, go and check out our Proteus uh, cricket programs where you'll get full 12 week programs or you can follow a year long program where it'll take you through sort of the off season, in season, pre-season and all that. Um, but yeah, enough of that plug-in stuff. Um, so let's get into it. So first up, we're gonna back squat. We got five sets of five. Um, for me, this would be around like 110, 120 kilos. So I'll build up to that. Now my warm up will be squatting. So I'll squat with the empty bar. I'll probably go to 60, see how it feels. I might go to 80 and 100, or I might go straight to 100, and then go to 120 to start my working sets. So what I think about when I've been squatting lately, which is quite good maybe for some taller people, thinking about when I'm coming up from the bottom, going, up and um, back slightly, so sort of diagonally. When I think about, well, personally, when I think about just coming straight up, my bar pass it tends to go out in front of me, um, so the weight gets in front of me, and then I turn that into like, it looks like a bit of a good morning, or going into a good morning, it's not quite that bad, and I'm fighting to get the weight back. So I find just aiming to sort of go up and back slightly, keep the bar path nice and, nice and straight, and I can just sort of fight through that weight, don't lose it on my toes or anything. So might help you, especially if you're tall-ish like me. Um, I'm all warmed up now, so I'm gonna start the working sets. Um, so see how the first set goes. I might change the weight after the first set. Um, but yeah, I'll just play it by feel. As I sort of say on our program that we sort of work in a range of, we want to think that we've got two reps left in the set. And that's where we know we've sort of got a heavy enough weight on the bar to be working our strength. So yeah, there we are, first working set. Probably stick with that weight now. I haven't squatted in a while, so it's feeling all right. It's feeling heavy off the rack as hell. So probably stick with that, see how it goes. Yeah, I went to the five sets. I'll catch you on our next exercise. Right, so that's our squats all done. Um, now we're gonna go on to a split squat. Good tip for your split squat. So we're gonna put our front foot a bit further out in front of us. So this is gonna make it a bit more glute isolated and glute focused. Um, if we wanted to change it up and make the exercise more quad focused, we can bring our front foot closer to us, which will mean our torso will be way more upright. Um, our knee will come over our toes and it will make it more focused on the quad. But we've got a quad exercise next. So we'll do this for the glute, and then we'll do our next exercise for the quads.
So again, nice and controlled on the way down. Bit of a pause at the bottom of the rep. Fast and explosive on the way up. Oh, and I can't breathe. Between reps, apparently. Oh. God, it's not a good look. I've, uh, I'm actually training for a triathlon, so this whole out of breath sort of look isn't great. Although I have been training for it, I swear. Got up at, well, my son, who's four weeks old, got me up at half four this morning. He went back to sleep and I couldn't, so I spent 90 minutes on my bike. So he's motivating me, you know, to get training, which is great. I don't know, it's like six o'clock and I'm knackered. But yeah, two more sets of split squats and then go to our next exercise. So I'll catch you up after that. So that's all the split squats done. Um, one thing I did forget to mention why we use a split squat instead of a lunge. Again, to do with that sort of isolation of the glute or isolation of the quad, whatever we choose to do. When you're doing the lunge, so the lunge variation would be you start with two feet together and then you move one back um, every rep. And then that just adds the chance of you sometimes putting it further back, um, sometimes further forward. So we sort of want to take that sort of chance out of it going to secure a nice position with the split squat so then we can just focus on working our glutes and not having to worry about where our foot's going. But yeah, next exercise then, back to the sort of quad development exercise we're going to be doing. I can't really see it on my foot. So we've got a plate, um, a 20 kilo bumper plate, so it's quite a raise. And we're going to be doing a goblet squat. It's a gold. A goblet cyclist squat. Um, so what that means, it's going to have a dumbbell in sort of this position, in a goblet position, and then our heels, both of our heels are going to be raised on the plate. This just again allows us to isolate our quads a bit more, especially if you're a taller person, raising your heels so you can get in a nice upright position with your torso, um, knees going over your toes, straight back up. This helps you isolate your quads. I just need to change the dumbbell now to go a bit heavier than the split squats, and then we'll get started. All right, so again, for this exercise, like all of our exercises, nice and controlled on the way down, a little second pause at the bottom. Fast explosive on the way up. Reason being, this will be a bit more controlled, obviously, than the back squats, so we'll probably go for about three seconds, same with the split squats, three seconds on the way down. So these are more our accessories, more focused about building a bit of uh, muscle mass, so we want to spend a bit of a longer time and attention than that of our back squat where we was more focused on strength and power. Um, but you'll see that sort of trend as the week goes on. Our first compound movement will be <clears throat> less time and attention, but heavier weights, less reps. There's a train going past, I don't know if you can hear it. So I'll shut up a second. Oh. There we go. Yeah, so, and then all of our accessories will be like eight to 10 reps, a bit more of a tempo. Yeah, more time under tension, build a bit more muscle. So yeah, three sets of 10 here. Um, I'll get started, do the first set now, and I'll see how it goes. Check back in with you. Oh, my mic, that a magnet. No.
my make is a magnet stuck to the dumbbell. Yeah, so that wasn't too bad. Probably go a bit heavier. Again, working in that two sort of reps in reserve. So like I'd be failing if I did two more reps. So that was a bit light. Probably go up for the next set. So it goes over the next two sets. Um, so I'll run through them and then we've got a little super set to finish. Right, so that was our sort of quad exercise ticked off. Um, next, bit of like smaller accessories. You've probably noticed as we go through the set there, as we go through the session, the sort of muscles, targeted muscle groups get smaller and smaller. So to finish off then, we're gonna do a calf raise, a seated calf raise. So we tend to alternate between a seated calf raise one week and a standing calf raise the other week. So the idea being the seated calf raise sort of targets the soleus, the little underlying muscle in your calf, and the standing calf raise targets your gastrocnemius. So that's the bigger, bigger um, calf muscle which sits on top. So today we're going for the seated calf raise and a Copenhagen which works sort of stability around your adductors. So I'm going to crack on with that. So it'll be, again we'll do eight to ten reps of each. Um, the calf raise will be loaded for myself, the Copenhagen's won't. You can load the Copenhagen, it's a bit awkward. So if you don't know what it is, you'll probably see in a minute, but it's basically one leg on a bench. Um, facing to the side, sort of a bit of like a side plank, and you just raise your hips. So you can put a plate or a dumbbell sort of on the top of your hips to create a bit more resistance. So we'll see how that goes. I don't think you can see the bench at the minute, so I'll move the camera. Yes, yeah, so I'll do the Copenhagen's. I'll do the Copenhagen's with the bench and then seated with a weighted plate on my lap for the calf raise. And again, this is three sets and you go, we'll go from the Copenhagen's first eight to 10 reps straight into the seat of calf raise. And what we will do actually, uh, which we always do, and I forget to mention, we'll put a bumper plate like we did with the goblet squats. Um, but this time we're gonna put our toes on it. So it just gives us a bit of extra range of motion with our ankle, creating a bit more of a stretch in that calf muscle. That was eight. One side. Ooh, cramping my foot. But yeah, so we work through now three sets of that. So yeah, so that's one set. So we've got two more sets of that. As I said, I've done eight probably sets each side, just back and forth, one straight into the next exercise. So yeah, two more sets. And then I'll catch you after we are done. So that is day one done and dusted. Relatively low volume, so 
probably take you 45 minutes to like 55 minutes. So not too much time spent in the gym, which is what we want. As I said, if you want to check out more of our programs, check out the link in the description and we have full like 12 week programs or year long programs and to follow and check in with us with day two. So if you subscribe and like get all your notifications on, you'll get notified when day two comes out. So catch us then. Thanks for watching. See you in a bit.